Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And of course, lots to talk about today as we are looking at the threat for some wintry weather across a good chunk of the Oracle Tex here, looking ahead to especially tomorrow. Today, lots of clouds, warm temperatures across the Arkle, Texas. We're in the 60s, and a few spots could make it into the 70s. But changes are on the way as we'll be watching a cold front, which is going to slide its way through the area. You can see by tomorrow morning, the front moving uh, south and east of Shreveport. And as temperatures drop behind this front, we are going to be looking at rain changing over to a mixed bag of uh, winter precipitation looking ahead to the day tomorrow. So here's how it all could play out as we look at future casts. Show you temperatures here and we'll start you off at 7 p.m. this evening and you can see uh, temperatures by then in the 50s and low 60s across the area. Temperature is going to be very important because when you drop below freezing tomorrow that's when any precipitation be it liquid will begin to freeze. So let's uh, march you forward and you can see as we go into the evening hours rain will begin to increase so with the heaviest rain over the northwestern sections of the area places like Ida Bell, Clarksville, Mount Pleasant likely will still be above freezing. Going through the rest of the nighttime hours you can see temperatures dropping below freezing over the northwestern edge of the Oracle Tex while in Shreveport will likely be in the upper 30s to lower 40s, mid 30s in Texarkana by 7 a.m. Going through the rest of the uh, day tomorrow, notice heading into the afternoon, temperatures continue to drop by 6 p.m. Still rain in Shreveport. Also notice that the precipitation will gradually wind down in terms of intensity as it does appear as if uh, the rain will shift to the south and east into northwest Louisiana and east Texas. As far as Shreveport is concerned, we're mainly looking at rain. We will have to watch the precipitation tomorrow evening very closely as we could see a brief window where we get the tail end of this activity uh, when temperatures fall below freezing. As you can see by midnight, pretty much done, but still there is going to be the chance for some light, uh, maybe freezing rain or sleet over East Texas and parts of Northwest Louisiana uh, during the evening hours tomorrow evening. And then we'll be pretty much done as temperatures by Friday morning will fall into the 20s, pretty much area wide. Now, as far as uh, the threats that we're looking at, there will be a possibility that we could see some freezing rain. Actually, it's likely we'll see some freezing rain over the north and western sections of the area. Now, this is basically what this particular model is showing as far as freezing rain. Doesn't necessarily point to accumulation of ice, but freezing rain potential. So it's possible, I would say, in the uh, northwestern sections of the Oracle Tex, perhaps parts of southwest Arkansas, this part of the Oracle Tex could see upwards of a quarter of an inch of ice accumulations. Uh, there is also a possibility that we could approach a half an inch over the extreme northwest corner of McCurtain County. All right. That being said, and notice further to the south, there is some potential for some freezing rain and or sleet in Shreveport as well. I don't expect any issues here. Now, the Weather Prediction Center or the Weather Service does put out uh, a basically winter storm impact uh, index which they kind of describe the impacts that a winter storm could bring and you can see they have a moderate impact possibility for especially northwestern McCurtain County that means that some damage in other words uh, some tree limbs falling on something possible uh, we could see some power outages in these areas this is where that risk is going to be at its highest minor impacts uh, we could see a few scattered power outages in this area of yellow and again uh, could be some slick spots on the roads not too much as far as uh, really impacts from the winter storm or uh, wintry weather here for northeast texas uh, as well as most of southwest arkansas including texarkana and again in shreveport uh, not really looking at much of an impact whatsoever the way it looks right now and of course i'll update this as more model information becomes available now as far as rainfall before we see the changeover, we are still looking at a significant amount of rain as uh, it's looking promising that much of the Arklotex will receive at least an inch of rain and we could have some locations that pick up upwards of two inches of rain. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. Look for rain to increase. We could see a little bit of uh, a freezing rain mixed in over the northwest corner of the area very late tonight as temperatures will be falling below freezing in those areas. The low temperature you're seeing here that's in the morning the high temperature is the temperature in the afternoon so that's why the reverse that basically indicates that we will see falling temperatures during the day tomorrow as we will see um, basically the rain uh, 
possibly become mixed in with a little bit of freezing rain or sleet as we head into the evening hours over East Texas and Northwest Louisiana. 10 day forecast shows a drier weather picture once the rain ends tomorrow evening or the precipitation ends tomorrow evening as we will see uh, again temperatures that will be cold. Lows will settle into the 20s to close the work week and head into the weekend. You can see the 20 mid 20s here for uh, the weekend lows. Highs will gradually warm up 40s for Friday and Saturday 50s by Sunday 60s by Tuesday and once we return to the 60s we likely will stay there with quite a bit of sunshine and dry weather basically from Friday into next weekend. So all in all it does look like uh, big uh, changes on the way as temperatures will take a tumble with a good shot for some freezing rain especially over the northwestern edge of the Arkletex. Also the northeastern sections of southwest Arkansas could see some issues uh, with icing. Travel could become very hazardous in those areas beginning later on tonight and then we'll see some improvement as uh, temperatures begin to warm up heading into the weekend.